your home. This is what you step into when you first come in. And this is the stairway leading to the second floor. Um, we pretty much, this is our dining room. When we have friends over, this is where we hang out and leads into the main part of our home and leads into the kitchen. For fall, I kept it super simple. Um, this was a table runner that I already had from Hobby Lobby with just some sprigs. Some of them are from Kirkland's. Some of them are from Hobby Lobby and that is a hearth in hand vase pitcher that I have. Um, over the fireplace, I just did a few little things that I already had a little picture and a little buffalo checked pumpkin. Um, and yeah, just a few things on my hutch, but really the star of the show is the table and the beautiful light that comes in this room. It's a really welcoming room and we really love having the space for a dining room area. It was something we didn't have in our other home. So something that we thoroughly enjoy when having people over and hosting. So from the dining room, this leads into the kitchen. This is all the original part of the house. So um, this was built in 1947. The kitchen, of course, is one of my favorite spots in the house. We did just have dinner, but folks, we live here, so I didn't quite get everything cleaned up yet. Off to this side to the right is the guest room quarters. There is a bathroom here, a full bath which is also original to the house. We did do a few upgrades to the bath. Um, most of it is original. We painted the vanity, um, put a new mirror, and some other touches. Most of the light fixtures in the home we did replace. Um, and then there's this beautiful book um, case that was built in that we absolutely love. And then we have one guest room here. These are really nice size rooms. And then on this side, we also have another guest room, which it's so wonderful to have space for guests um, and not have to, you know, totally take down a room and set it up every single time that you have a guest. So for fall in the guest rooms, I just did a few little touches. I had this little vase with some pumpkins and little acorns and pine cones. And then I did something similar um, in the other room as well with a little um, velvet pumpkin in this basket. Lots of cozy blankets. It does get cold here. We do not have conventional heat and air conditioning, so we do use our pellet, so pellet stoves as our main source of heat, um, along with our uh, baseboard heat. So walking out of the guest room into the kitchen, I just did a few touches um, of fall in here. I have this really pretty stacked floating shelves um, and I just did a few little things. The little arrangement there is I believe from Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's um, and just a few little pumpkins. The Simply Grateful sign is from Hobby Lobby several, several years ago. And then this is our little coffee station. Over here on the counter, I just have this little Happy Harvest sign a little ticking striped pumpkin and then on my window I have a few little things a few pumpkins um, the grateful thankful blessed and the counter blessings and this is my beautiful greenhouse window I did bring in some herbs from outside for my garden hoping that they will survive the winter I brought in some mint some rosemary and 
and some parsley. So we shall see. One thing I noticed is that on camera, the floor comes across extremely orange and yellow. It is a much darker wood tone, very close to what the cabinets are, but the lighting does make it come across a little bit orange colored. So moving in to the living area of our home, this is a little hallway that separates the older part of the home into the newer part. So this was a hall closet that we transformed into a pantry. We love having the extra space. It is definitely a blessing um, and we definitely use it every day. So that was one upgrade that we did because we have so much closet space here. Directly across from the pantry is the laundry room. Guys, this is the best space ever. <laughs> I love having a laundry room. Um, the washer and dryer as well as the wash sink is fantastic. It's got the same floor as the kitchen. This is definitely more similar to the tone of the kitchen. Um, it's more true to color. We did change out the cabinets here and the light fixture as well as all new paint throughout the home. Um, but yeah, definitely love this space. It is such a blessing. Love having um, a dedicated space for laundry and cleaning products. Um, of course, I have my vacuums hanging over here and then my brooms and mops and dusting paraphernalia is all hanging and it's just wonderful to have that space and added storage. And lastly is our living room area. This is our formal living room where we have our piano and our couch. We use this room for teaching as well as entertaining. It has this really, really beautiful window that um, looks out the front of our house. I just added a few touches of fall a little pumpkin there, and then some pictures above the couch on the floating shelf. Most of them I've had for a really long time, but the Farm Fresh one was actually an Aldi find last year. And then over here on my little couch table, I just added some pumpkins and the garland there, and then that little sign. So this is the stairs leading out to the garage and then the second set of staircase also goes up to the second floor. Here to the right is our little sunroom. This is like a little den area. This is where we sit and relax. It's a really cozy spot. We have the wood stove back here and I really didn't add much to this room. I do have our little pumpkin and Christmas countdown, a little candle, a couple little pumpkins. Um, yeah, some just little things that I have here on the bookshelf, but this is primarily where we like to sit and drink our coffee. It's really, really relaxing and cozy, and we love having the wood-burning stoves. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys the beautiful view that we have here. Um, if you've followed any of my moving videos, you have seen this view before. This is our little um, mudroom, if you will. We also keep our cat stuff back here. It's a great place to have the cat food and such in the litter box. But this takes us out to our back porch. And I just wanted you to see our view and how it's looking for fall. We have already started our fall cleanup. We put away the lawn furniture. We did keep a few chairs out for Thanksgiving. And then we will put these away. Um, but yeah, we're just getting ready for fall with our garden cleaning out. We actually put our um, swing away and our other lawn and patio furniture and we have the cushions drying. We've had a couple wet days, so um, we gotta get those dried before we put them away. But yeah, it's really great that we have the well house here because we're able to put like our fountain in here um, and such. And it's just a really easy, accessible place to store things for the winter. But I thought I would show you guys really quickly the view from the back of the house and it's ever changing and I think it's really interesting to watch how the water comes up and goes down and just through the seasons of life. This is our first fall here. So it's gonna be exciting to spend the whole winter here.
bottom home tour and a little bit of a house tour. I am so excited to share more with you guys as we continue our journey here. We love living here and look forward to sharing the beauty of it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love to have you on board and have you subscribe if you haven't already. I love sharing with you guys and I hope you guys are blessed and doing well and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye everyone.